Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonnie here, Power Training TV. Hey, so I just wanted to kind of welcome you guys back in, let you know where everything's going. Um, I was gone for a week. I did a couple conditioning workouts, nothing crazy. Um, I moved, we, we had to move the gym. We had so much construction because we have new people coming in. We're at the new place. You see a little sneak peek here in a minute. Um, just been really busy so I kind of put a little two week deload if you will in the middle of my training uh, today you'll see I didn't do very much I didn't do a lot of weight at all I've been so tight from all the work that I've had to do just felt very very tight and weak if you will so I spent a lot of time on the foam roller I spent a lot of time doing some banded stretching um, that I didn't put in here but basically just really loosening up the hip flexors um, I got into the vertical jump. I'm actually pretty happy because I still hit a, like a 34, 35. So I didn't lose, which I thought I would, um, getting back into it. But now it's just a matter of just progressing. Like I said, I'm trying to do this before May, so I got to get my shit together. Uh, go ahead and enjoy the video, you know what I mean? And I'll keep uh, starting to get a little more consistent with these, all right? I'll holler at you next time. Yeah, you I don't want to be uh, an, an icon, um, I want to be an idea, you know, I want to represent an idea. I wanna... So look, for a top speed exercise today, I wanted to share with you guys something that I think is such a simple tool you can utilize to correct a lot of your top speed. So often I talk about the mechanics of the lower body and cycling when you're in top speed. 